Hi, welcome back to Graphic Island Tutorial. In this video, we'll develop a new logo by following the customer description. So here is the details given by the customer and according to that, we need to develop a logo so that it can meet the customer expectation. These details will help us to understand what type of business is all about the customer is running, what type of logo would be best fit for for this customer. Before I start with this project, you can check our previous videos which was in the same format of developing a new logo from the customer description. And here is the another one. So you can also check out those videos which can help you to understand this process more better. So let's get started. The first thing you need to follow in logo design project is logo title. So here you can see the logo title. This is the most important thing. And secondly, you need to check the tagline. Either the customer is given the tagline or not. So here is no tagline. The third most important thing you need to check before you get started with the logo design is the business details. So let me read it out. We are providing services for furnitures and home interior and exterior decorations house construction and roofing especially we build houses made of woods we want to see some nature touch on the logo along with wooden house and roofs along with wooden house and roofs what does it mean the customer business is about furniture construction and roofing and they do interior and exterior decorations as well Especially we build house made of woods. So house is a very important element here. We need to focus. We want to see some nature touch. So they want to see some natural things to be reflected, to be combined in their logo. Color preferences, gray, green, black, orange, or the yellow. This color recommendation also telling us that the customer is looking to see some nature touch in their logo. Let's start with the sketching. The first thing we need to follow here is house construction and roofing. Why we need to follow this? Because here you can see the, the mention again and the, at the end house and roofs. That means this is the most highlighted part and they want to see on their logo. So we need to focus on house and roofs and the nature. When they talk about house and roofing, the first element in the logo design for house and roof, roofing comes in the mind is like this. This is house. And if you make it complete house, then you can make it like this as well. This is the common element for the house and when they talk about the nature then the first thing comes in our mind is the leaf or the tree so simply we can configure out the element like leaf we can also give the sun when it talks about nature even we can add birds flying on the sky even in case of nature we can give water on the lake with wooden dimension so we can make a cardboard or the uh, wooden roof we can create it even separately we can make the wooden shape like this and another important thing is interior and exterior decorations and when it talks about the construction the common thing comes in the mind is hammer like this so th this is for the construction elements those are the common elements used in the logo design like this so i'll start here from the roof I'll draw a roof here we can use the scale as well to make it more 
perfect looking like this this is the roof of the house here we'll draw another roof from here so these are the common shapes we use in logo designing and this side as well we'll use the same roof like this so this is a rough sketch I am not making it uh, full perfect here because it will take lots of time and we are not supposed to invest much time on the rough sketch and here we will make one window and here we can make a wooden cardboard here so that we can write the logo title uh, at the center and you know how this cardboard of wooden cardboard will be like this like it's, it's not in a perfect uh, cutting shape it's like broken cardboard so this way we can make it and at the center we can write the logo title in capital H A U S E N B Y and after that you can complete the shape of the cardboard like this and here we can use a screw here even the small screw also we can place here like this another one which looks more nicer let's join this one from here this one from here and now we can give sun here at the back so you can draw a sun at the back of this house not much bigger if it is covered up to here is fine you can also give bird like the bird are flying here like this give some lips here so we can make different kinds of lips as well like this you can be a little creative and you can decorate the house which you think should be looks more nicer and this is the initial sketch we have done our sketch is ready now here we ignore the elements like water and this one so that we can keep this logo looks little simple now let me take this one to the software and there we'll reconstruct it and do the realignment of the elements so that we can give a more professional look to this sketch after bringing the image to the software the first thing we'll do lock off the image so that it will not do any movement when we'll work over it now take the pen tool and do pen tool setup remove the fill color of the pen tool and give outlines and choose a black outline color from here and increase the stroke of the outline from here give three this will make the line little thicker when we trace the outline of the sketch and from here let's begin tracing the image 
while tracing the image if we found any misalignment on the sketch we'll do immediate corrections and keep continue so as you know the hand-drawn sketch could not be a perfect one that's the reason we took our sketch to the software so that we can make it more perfect alignment so this way keep tracing the complete sketch so here i am making it little faster because already a sketch is there just we need to trace it here you can see i have drawn the window little up from the bottom so this is a minor corrections i am doing while reconstructing it on the software let's change the black color outline to the red so that it would not mismatch with the sketch color and we can easily notify what we are doing using pen tool draw a straight line horizontally and vertically using shift key now select both the lines and increase the stroke remove the fill color of the stroke change the color of the stroke and expand it now select down object and do minus front now select this one and fill this with color let's change the fill color to the black similarly fill the other shapes with the black color and remove their outlines Using rectangle tool and here draw a window. Draw a straight line here and again increase the stroke, expand it and do minus front. Now select multiple objects using shift key. Click on reflect tool and drag the center point using alt key. And leave it here. Select vertical and copy. Now take the shape towards left hand side using left arrow key on your keyboard. Keep on creating the shapes by following the sketch. You can easily differentiate our reconstruction and the original shape of the sketch because of perfect alignment. There are minor possible changes occurs. Now draw a circle. This will form the sun. Keep on tracing the remaining shapes. Now do multiple selection using shift key. Take shape builder tool. Change the color and make a shape here. And delete this part. Using pen and pencil tool. Trace the outline of the cardboard. And fill it with color. Change the color to the black. Give the opacity so that we can see the background elements. Now by using text tool, write the logo title here. Drag the text and make the size bigger and place at the center of the cardboard. Now let's change the font from here. Choose an appropriate font for our logo design. Now let's create the screw from the toolbar, select this ellipse tool and draw a circle. Do copy paste and drag it down, make the size smaller, change the color. Take it little down, using pen tool, draw a diagonal at the center, increase the stroke, expand it. Select both the shape and do minus front. Now select them and group it. Now place it over the screw shape. Drag it using Alt key and make a duplicate. And rotate it. Similarly, make duplicate using Alt key, make the size smaller and place over the small screws. Using pencil tool, trace the lips. Now unlock the image and remove it from the background.
I am reconstructing the lips using the pen tool to give a more better look. Fill the sun with color and let's apply gradient color to it so that we can give more realistic look. In gradient color we can mix up two or more colors and make a perfect combination. Now it looks perfect. Apply the same gradient color for the text and fix the gradient angle. Let's remove the opacity of the cardboard. As we have drawn all essential elements from the background, we don't need to give any more opacity. Now select it and give offset. So here we'll apply negative offset. And change the offset color. Drag the cardboard offset from both the sides and make a perfect shape here. This makes the shadow of the cardboard. Now select the shapes using upward arrow key take it up and arrange it to the front. Give offset to the text. Fill the gap between the offset using the pen tool and unite them with the new shapes and the offset. And here also create graphics using the pen tool. Now apply gradient color to the lips. Here we can mix up the green color combination. Now draw small rectangles on the window. Give white color and transparency. Do multiple selection of the objects using shift key. After multiple selections, go to object and hide it. Let's create wooden graphics for the cardboard using pen and pencil tool. While creating graphics, we'll play with black and white color along with transparency. And sometimes we need to repeat the shapes also to create a better graphics. Now it is perfect. Bring them to the front. Reposition the bird in a perfect place and create two more birds. So at the end of the design, whenever you'll find you need to make some changes or need to add or subtract something, you can do it. In graphic design, if you spend more time, then you can come out with more better result. And we are done. This is the end product of the logo. Hope you understand the complete process of logo design from beginning to the end. And here I am Abul Mansur. Bye bye for now. Have a nice day. See you in the next video.